This is a 100% electric variant of the new 2024 Ford Tolio custom van that burst onto the scene and aims directly at the leadership of a competitive category, guys. A category in which it will have to face such important rivals as the Citroen E-Space Tourer, the Peugeot E-Traveler, and the Toyota Proest Vessel electric vans. But then, somewhere last year, we got the all-new Tolio van in diesel, gasoline, and hybrid models that I reviewed here extensively on the channel. You can actually use the link on my top left corner to access that if you would be interested in that. Today, I bring you the 100% electric 2024 Ford Tonio custom model, looking at its performance, the battery, the range details, as well as the price differences but I will also conveniently and briefly establish the model differences by the end of the episode for you. So stay tuned. And on this note, I welcome you to Auto Stop Car Reviews once again, guys. Now, at this point, let's get down to the business of being here. And this is all going to be about the new Ford e Tonio Custom that we have received. And guys, beyond equipment which is a determining factor when it comes to purchasing a vehicle. The truth is that we all focus on the propulsion systems as well. It is only but a logical move, especially when this is a purely electric 100% van, which I call the E-Van. Unfortunately, guys, there is no option in this regard. The heart of this new e Tonio Custom E-Van is a 64 kilowatt lithium ion battery. And this battery, has a main objective of powering 160 kilowatts that should translate to about 218 horsepower electric bottle in this case so that is the only proportion system you get on this ev is a bit of a letdown but you know is a variant on the diesel the gasoline and then the hybrid model so it should do if you want something more you may have to look at other models the power that is developed here by the electric motor is sent to the rear axle in effect this is a rear hole drive e-van and the range of the electric tonio custom actually reaches a hooping 337 kilometers according to the WLTP cycle and this is actually equipped with 11 kW 3 phase onboard AC charger that allows the battery to be fully charged in less than do you want to guess eight hours guys in eight hours you've got full charge it also makes it possible to complete charging from 15 percent to 80 percent in just 41 minutes using the 125 kW DC fast charger so this is what you get as the source of your power to this that you are getting at this point let me just briefly touch on the range and equipment of the new ford e Tonio custom that we have already seen so ford has actually structured the e Tonio custom range into titanium active sport and titanium extreme levels we do know this already in addition to this, take note, it is possible for you to choose between two body sizes. And with the body sizes, we have the standard L1 model that measures 5.05 meters long. And then on the other hand, if you want a much longer, more spacious one, you have the L2 model with a length of 5.45 meters, respectively. I'll put the numbers there so you can think around it. Okay, so basically, this is what we are getting on the EV version of the Ford Tonio Custom here. And below, I am actually now going to briefly tackle the trims and what really sets them apart in terms of the equipment. Now, I am going to begin with the base model, which in this case will be the titanium model. And so the titanium model will form the basis for the subsequent models, which will be the upper and higher model. So everything you would find on the base model as on the titanium, you would find on the active and then the sport and then the titanium as it goes up. But then the things that are different on the upper models, I will spotlight them as we go that you would not find on the lower models. Right, so there is a lot, a lot of equipment that you get here. Let me begin with the multiple airbags that you get on the Ford e Tonio Custom Titanium Equipment. You've got front, side, and curtain airbags. You've got 17-inch alloy wheels on LED side. You've got the LED headlights. 
you get the daytime running lights as you have been seen in those images you've got the led rear lights you get fog lights you've you are getting automatic lighting and rain sensing and you are also enjoying electrically adjustable folding and heated exterior rear view mirrors you've got infotainment system with touchscreen but a much smaller one which also supports android auto and apple carplay with usb connections bluetooth and digital radio you've got it air condition is obvious and front electric windows of course heated front seats height adjustable driver's seat is there and then take note of this you've got a three row seating that is a two plus three plus three making eight in terms of the seating arrangement on the custom titanium model you are also getting a front center armrest and fabric upholstery in this particular one and then also you get to enjoy multi-functioning steering wheel adjustable in height and depth and front rear and parking front rear parking sensors You've got rear view mirror, central locking with remotes. You've got keyless system. So if you're interested in that, that's something you are going to get. And then you've got adaptive cruise control and speed limiter, lane change warning, hail start assist in terms of safety and tire pressure monitoring system. But then you also get to enjoy the e-call emergency call system also on the base model. So this is where the base model ends and then the active model picks up. And so everything you're going to find on the base model, you would find on the next on the level, which is the custom active model. But you would not find the things that I'm going to spotlight here on the titanium model. The active um, model here, you've got active exterior package. I need you to take note of this package because that is one of the things that sets the active model apart from the custom model. On the custom active, you've got active exterior package. You've got infotainment system with 13-inch touchscreen, which is bigger than what you find on the base model. You've got a browser here. You've got driver's seats with electric adjustments. You've got rear cross-traffic warning and also automatic climate control with temperature adjustments in three zones. These are what sets the active apart from the titanium. But then let me quickly spotlight the two things that set the sport model apart from the active and the titanium. And that is that the Sport has a Sport exterior package. Yes, you see that. Sport exterior package, which makes it sporty. And then the Sport has a multifunctional steering wheel covered in synthetic leather. The emphasis is on synthetic leather, right? That is what makes the Sport different from the Active. And then finally, which is the fully loaded edition, on the fully loaded edition, which is the Titanium X model, you get to enjoy a 360 vision camera, which is not on any of the other models. And then you ride on a 19 inch alloy with a much bigger, wider ties on, on this particular model. So this is basically what sets the Titanium apart from the rest, which makes it the fully, fully, fully loaded edition here. As I wrap, I would move on to talk about price. But if you want more intensive breakdown of these trims, I have done an intensive video. You can use the link on my top left corner. But then at this point, let's look at pricing and I'm going to launch this price in Europe. So as you can see here, this is how it stands. Now, this starts from this amount of price and gets to that. Okay, great. So you can actually tell where the prices fall by looking at what we have launched here in Europe. And this is minus all other things. That is the manufacturer suggested retail price at this point in time. This is what we got for you for now. Thank you so much. Have a good, great day until we meet same time again. Bye-bye.